Hey scholars, all right, so you either just read barbed wire baseball by yourself or you listened to me. So now let's think about the genre and I want you to open your reader's journals and I want you to look at our genre overview. As we look at our genre overview, I want you to think about informational biography and autobiography. So I'm going to use this highlighter. So if you have a highlighter, you can pause the video and get it out. So informational is text that provide, provide facts about a variety of topics, sports, animals, history, etc. That is informational. Biography is the story of a real person's life written by another person. An autobiography, the key word is here, auto is the story of a real person's life written by that person because auto refers to self. So auto is kind of referring to self. Now today what you read, if you listened to me in the video, at the end of the video I said narrative nonfiction which this story could be narrative nonfiction. Narrative nonfiction is a book that is based on truth and tells it in story form. But then I rewatched the video and I realized I also said that this could be realistic fiction and that was incorrect. This is actually a nonfiction biography. Or you could use the term narrative nonfiction. But for right now, we're going to go with biography. All right, so then, and if I'm ever moving too fast, just hit pause. So we're going to move to our notes page where we've read La Mariposa, Westlandia, Ruth in the Green Book, and now today, Barbed Wire Baseball. So this is the first book that we have read this week that is in the non-fiction category. And this was a biography. So this was in the non-fiction category and this was a biography. And we know that this is a biography because, first of all, it has an afterword in the back, which is actually telling you truth. Kinchi Zen, Zeni Maru, Marua, I don't know if I'm saying that right, I'm really bad with names. He was a real person. So, um, Zeni was a real baseball player. The Japanese camps were real. Pearl Harbor was real. Zinni really played with Babe Ruth. The Great Bambino, if you've ever seen The Sandlot. Hopefully you know who Babe Ruth is, one of the greatest ball players of all time, the Sultan of Swat. <laughs> okay, so pause the video, make sure you get that written down. Now, as you think about this, what could be some themes? Because this is going to help you on that worksheet that you have to do, or not really worksheet, your reader's response that you have to do with this you can use some of these themes to guide you. Some of these themes could be determination, perser, did I spell that right? Perseverance. So determination means like not going to give up. Perseverance is that idea that even when things get difficult, you're going to still push through. 
It could be hope when things are hard. Is there anything else? If there's any other themes that you could think of, you can add them there. Hard work. So as you go on to your reader's response, here are some themes that you could use. Hope, hard work, determination, perseverance. Okay, and that's that page that looks like this. So I could write possible themes right here. Determination, hope, perseverance. I don't want to write on this because I haven't made a copy just yet. What is the topic of the book? Remember, that is the, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and write on this. So I'm going to write determination. I'm going to write pers, uh, ah, never know how to spell it. Perseverance, hope, hard work. So then, for my possible themes, I need to think about which one do I want to stick with. And I'm actually going to do this idea of determination and hope. I'm going to actually kind of put them together because he was determined to bring hope to the in internment camp. So I'm going to write about both of those together. And then the topic of the book, remember that's the main idea. So the main idea is that Zenny is a Japanese immigrant that ends up in an internment camp. He manages manages to build a baseball field and bring hope to the camp. Okay, so that's just a little preview for what you need to do next. I do not want you to copy my topic word for word. Can you use my ideas? Absolutely, but it does not need to look like mine word for word. Can you list the same possible themes? Absolutely, these are the themes of the book. You might even find one or two more. Okay, so there's your notes page about barbed wire baseball, and then you're moving on to your barbed wire baseball reader's response. This you will turn in and make sure you check your name off of the assignment page. This is a reading grade for today. All right, have fun looking into barbed wire baseball. Bye scholars.